first. Uh, we have a question from Deborah. Uh, Deborah says this. She says, I am a Gentile. My friend invited me to a Messianic synagogue, and I felt more accepted there than in my own church, physically and spiritually. Is it wrong for me to go to a Messianic synagogue, being that I am not Jewish, and do what they do, do and follow Torah? So she doesn't follow Torah is what she's saying. I love God and Jesus. I have, a, I have got a great hunger to learn more. All right. Well, uh, Deborah's question is a great question, and I hope that, uh, Deborah, that you'll listen to my answer, particularly on this part. The world uh, has been divided by Judaism and by Christianity into Jews and Gentiles, and you're following that basic definition. But that's not how the Bible divides us. The Bible divides us as believers of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and unbelievers of the God of Israel. That's how the Bible uh, and how the Lord sees us. And the Torah teaches us that, that Abraham... Uh, when God called Abraham, it was so that all the families of the earth would be blessed. It's not just a Jewish thing. The Torah, the commandments, the feasts, the festivals, Sabbath, they're not just Jewish things. These are things that God gave to all of mankind that believes in the God of Israel. So I am pleased to hear the testimony that you've gone to a Messianic synagogue and you were well received. Thank you, Lord, for that. Uh, but let me just say to you, because of the promises made to Abraham, you are fully a part of the faith. If you believe in the Messiah, then you're of the seed of Abraham, the scripture teaches us. And I pray that you will continue on your journey of growing and learning about the Lord, uh, about the Messiah, the King of Israel, and that you're part of the commonwealth of Israel, and that these things, the, the, the synagogue and those things there, they belong to you as well. So I encourage you to grow in your faith and uh, continue to attend where you're learning that.